Your iPhone and iPad are about to look a lot different. And I'm not talking about the hardware. No, Apple didn't announce brand new iPads or iPhones here at their WWDC conference. But what they did announce was the new iOS 7 software. And it is going to be the biggest change to the iPhone since the iPhone. Well, Tim Cook said it himself. iOS 7 is the biggest change to iOS since the introduction of iPhone. So what does iOS 7 have and what's it gonna bring to your phone? Here are the top features. Number one, design. This is not the iOS you have known. The design has been completely overhauled. No more notepad looking notes app or plain weather app. Everything is cleaner and fresher looking. My first impression, it looks great. Number two, control center. I've been complaining about finding the Wi-Fi toggle in the settings menu for years. Now you can just swipe up and you have a whole clean panel of controls. Number three, multitasking. This is what I've been waiting for. Instead of having no idea what app you're going to go into next, you'll now get a preview of the app when you double tap on the home button. The fourth has to do with the camera. You're not gonna be able to take better shots with your camera, at least not yet, but you're gonna be able to edit them better. They're putting filters right in the camera app, very similar to Instagram. Probably not gonna replace Instagram, but it's kinda cool. Last but not least is Siri. She's going to be getting a whole new voice and a new brain. She can now send tweets and she can show you actual search results. I told you it was a lot of features, but they're not coming just yet. iOS 7 is coming later this fall, but at least that should give you a lot of time to, well, prepare for a brand new iPhone.